How you doing? This is Will Beatty with Center Forest Clutches. I wanted to show you some of our new product this year. Right here we have our 2013 Viper. This is our Dyad, it's 2013. Let me pull it apart here real quick for you and kind of show you some of the benefits of it. You'll notice that this doesn't have any springs or uh, splines in here for the disc, and, and that's kind of unique to our design. Floater, I'm gonna pull it apart and I'll put it all back together for you. What we run is a steel flywheel, all ARP hardware. And what we do is we actually take and scallop the outer edge to reduce that inertia. And then we, we come in with our main drive disc here. This disc is made chrome molly hub. These lugs are what are gonna drive that second disc. If you look inside of here, you can see that hub piece. See how thick that is? That is for taking that type of abuse and it's that kind of torque. So this disc is gonna come in here, set like this floater. You'll see these three pins here, unique to our design. Inside of here is a bushing, and what that does, that eliminates floater rattle. That's going to come in there and lock down. Still floats, but you'll notice that I can't move that floater around. So when you push a clutch in, it's not going to make any noise at all. The second disc is going to come on here. Input shaft never touches this disc, so we have a true sprung hub twin disc. You see I can spin that? So this disc is actually driving the second disc. If you want to see what I'm talking about with floater rattle, this is a piece we make for Weddell Industries. It's an off-road truck. There, we don't have the floater rattle pieces here, but if you can hear that, that's what you typically hear when you push a clutch in. Well, this is our, twin, our triple here. Aluminum pressure plate. This is an eight three-quarter inch diameter. I'm going to kind of pull this apart here. This is a drive disc. This is a floating disc, just like you saw with the other dyad. Main drive disc. This is what I put in my Jeep. floater. Here's that drive disc. Here's those pins I was talking about that drive that second disc. Again, a chromoly hub, eight and three quarter inch. You can see it's on both sides. This is where we're driving each disc on each side. Come over here, take the other floater out, put that there. Third disc, light and seal flywheel again, really reducing our inertia especially being an eight and three quarter inch clutch assembly. All right, this is our new Jeep, the 3.8 liter Jeep that I was talking about. Pressure plate, we run, this is the center force one that we're running on this one here. We run our disc, this, this disc here, you'll see that there's suicides. What that does, that gives it great longevity and great heat cooling. This flywheel here, and I'd pick it up for you, but it's a little heavy. Uh, JP Magazine had asked us to build a flywheel for them for the 3.8 liter Jeeps. And this is what we came up with, a 47 pound steel flywheel. So the, the inertia on this thing is far superior to what the stock piece is. So the guy's running a big big tires and uh, you know winches and putting a lot of weight into that vehicle. This is really gonna help that thing out for wheeling. For more information, visit www.centerforce.com. Thanks for visiting.